All right, so we have Burt Kreischer on the Fighter and the Kid podcast. I know that's probably one of the worst combinations you could think of, but it made for one of the worst moments you could think of. Burt, of course, was doing his outrageous laugh. He's doing the squeal noise. He's trying to talk. He's talking about he can't breathe, how he's going to have a heart attack, all that stuff. And then Brendan made the mistake of trying to keep up with him, and he took a page out of Andrew Schultz's playbook. He started grabbing Burt. He started running around. He was like half out of his chair laughing. You know, it's just comedians stealing each other's laughs at this point. He was stealing some of Burt's laugh. He was talking about how he can't breathe now, like right after Burt did it. And they probably spent like five minutes laughing at something Louis C.K. did, from something from his show like a bit he did i guess and brian cowan looks like he's just sick of both of them like he does an actual laugh like a genuine laugh it seemed like in the beginning and then when Bert and brendan just do their completely unnatural laughs and just go off for like five minutes he's just sitting there like what am i doing with my life So I know that I'm going to get canceled for laughing at that, oh, but I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Why'd you roll? <laughs> I don't what care if he gets kicked off. Why would they have this thing? I don't know. This is. Watch her run off. Like, watch her run off. Times it's the best show ever. And that was that was oh. before 2000. Oh, yeah. I love how laughing's not enough anymore. You have to describe how you're laughing. Like Bert, it's crazy. Everything he sees is like the funniest thing that's ever happened to anyone. And he's like, oh, I'm crying, I'm laughing, I'm gonna have a heart attack, I can't breathe. And he's always doing it in that high pitched voice because whenever he starts laughing, apparently he just has no control and it just takes over. And then he starts trying to talk and it's just all high pitch and you can't even hear yourself think. Like Brian tries to mention something and then Bert's just doing this squeal. Like once Bert gets going with his laugh, there's no stopping him. I mean, that went on for like five or six minutes. You just had to sit there and wait for him to stop laughing. You know, of course, Brendan was going along with it too. He was just encouraging it and it was hilarious. It was like he's stealing qualities from everyone else's laugh. He was doing the Andrew Schultz, like touching, grabbing, falling out of your chair thing. He did the Joe Rogan yell for a second if he caught that. And then he started describing his laugh like Bert does, like talking about how he's crying and he can't breathe and all that stuff. It kind of reminds me of Keemstar when he went on Aiden Ross's live stream like a year or two ago and he was just faking all this excitement. Keemstar, he would start jumping around, screaming, like running around the place. And everyone's like, dude, can you just chill out for a second here? And it was so cringy, especially because nobody else was really laughing in that situation at least with Bert no one ever really calls him out and everyone else just kind of laughs along with him because they don't want to make it awkward I think somebody needs to sit there and be like all right dude you're done like not everything requires a six minute laugh segment you know you can just be like all right that was funny I'll do a normal laugh and we'll continue on but instead Bert needs to make a whole scene about it and once he gets going you're not stopping him and then it takes time for him to recover from his laugh and get back to a normal talk
talking volume, not just some high-pitched squeal noise. So then you have to wait for that, and it's just out of control. And I've been waiting for somebody to call him out on it. Obviously, it did not happen here. It was like the exact opposite. Brendan was pretty much encouraging it the way he was laughing along with him. And Brian, it seemed like maybe he was kind of annoyed by it. He might have called him out if Brendan weren't there, but I think he's letting Brendan have some fun here. And I did see Bert is going on Joe Rogan's podcast, so maybe Joe will do it. Hopefully, you know, Joe's not afraid to call him out, but we'll see. I'll let you know if it happens, so make sure you subscribe. And that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my Patreon account. I'll put a link in the description. Then leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about all this. Then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.